these political flyers talk about a variety of issues, but the water issues took the center of the conversation at the forum, so much so that organizers say all the written questions from people attending were about water contamination. There's so many issues going on within our community. At Mount Olive Church. The elephant is in the room, the water issue. The pews are filled with people like Marvelous Washington. They're frustrated over the city's water contamination. And we're trying to do redevelopment in our community. Can't do redevelopment in the community if we don't have fresh water. A water sample tested positive for E. coli in June 2023, but the city notified the public in January past the required 24-hour deadline. Both challengers, Dr. Glenn Spirits and Leroy Kelson IV, attacked the city over their handling of the water issue. My counterpart in 2018 stated that she would demand clean water. The water is still dirty. This is terrible. We're turning into Flint, Michigan. Council member Dr. Julia Botell argued the issue was a rarity. It's almost like a manufactured crisis. And don't, please don't yell at me to say the water is contaminated. The water is not contaminated now. Errors were made in June, July when people didn't report something that went on. Records we received show another test was positive for total chloroform, also called fecal bacteria in August. The director for the Special Utility District in Riviera Beach, Michael Lowe, declined to talk to us on camera about the issue, but told us it was a false positive. Emails we received show he gave the same explanation for the positive test in June. Dr. Botel and Miller Anderson say they're still looking for answers from staff. If someone lied to me, I want to hold them accountable. And so when we get all of those facts, I can assure you that accountability would be at the top of my list. Regardless, yellow tinted water is making people concerned like marvelous Washington. That's why we're here. <laughs> That's why we're here, because we want to hear the ideas of the candidates. Concerned enough to fill church pews on a Monday night. Both incumbents talked about their experience to get a new water treatment plant to fix the problem. We're at the location of that plant where construction has not started. In Riviera Beach, Ethan Stein, WPTV News Channel 5.